어, 이번에 또 가장 스페셜한 게 있습니다. 이거예요. 자, 신기하게 생겼죠? 이게 뭐냐면은 버튼을 누르면 여기가 다 코에다가 이렇게 놔두고 여기에 이제 불순물들이 여기 이제 들어가는 거죠. 코 안에 있던 먼지나 이런 것들이. Our boogers are in there to literally catch dust and dirt and particles. Mmm, mmm, mucus. You guys look. I am a beautiful little butterfly. Well, actually, I am multiple little butterflies, but. Can I just say? The B in JB's nighttime skincare routine must stand for butterflies because that is the vibes we are serving. I rented this, I did not buy it, but I'm very, very happy with it for the time that I do have it. <laughs> Anyways, JB is an R&B Korean singer that I actually don't know a ton about. I know he's in GOT7, but other than that, I'm not super familiar with him or his music. And I'm also not familiar with his skincare routine. So let's nice and calm get into our skincare self-care mode because I think that you like to watch this as you do your skincare routine in the morning or the evening. Am I right? Am I right? Because the comments told me so. But let's see what this wonderful, talented human puts on his face. And you might be like, and excuse me, why should I be listening to your face? Excellent question. I ask myself that all of the time. Not only am I the acne big sister, mother of butterflies, but I am also an expert who has been in the industry for over 10 years and a medical esthetician who has worked alongside doctors and dermatologists, although I am not not a physician myself. I am a butterfly. I am a lepidoptera. Obviously. <laughs> I love to analyze and scrutinize and learn from other people's skincare routines. So let's see what's going on in this one. Hi, I'm JB and tonight I'm going to be uh, showing you my nighttime routine. Let's get ready for bed. 네, 어, 자 우선 저의 피부 타입을 얘기를 하자면 저는 일단은 굉장히 건조한 편이에요. 다행히 어, 부모님이 잘 물려주셔서 저는 바르는 게 거의 없습니다. 네, 거의 없지만 가끔 쓰는 것들을 여러분들에게 말씀드리려고 합니다. I love that we're doing this in Korean. Yes, please. Somebody please teach me Korean. 감사합니다. On top of that, extremely dry skin. I wonder if this is like something wrong with translation. It says, luckily, thanks to my parents, I rarely use skincare products. Why is that a lucky thing? Maybe because he doesn't need to? Because his skin looks so good? I don't know. Is it a filter? Harper's Bazaar, are we doing another filter? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. 제가 첫 번째로 쓰는 제품을 말씀드리겠습니다. 세안 제품인데요. 어, 폼 클렌징입니다. 똑 열어서 짜고 바른 다음에 빡빡빡빡빡빡 닦는 스타일이에요. 제가 쓰는 게 있는데 헤어밴드입니다. 앞머리가 많이 길었을 때는 좀 이렇게 올리는 게좀 편해서 이거를 착용을 하는 편이에요. 머리를 넘겨줍니다. 이제 이걸 열어서 여기에 이렇게 짜는 거예요. 이 정도 짜서 얼굴에도 먼저 안 발라요. 순회하고 <웃음> 정말 모양 안 나오는데 이렇게 막 씻는 편이에요. I just love watching Homo sapiens rub things on their face. Is that weird? If that was taken out of context, that'd be very weird. But you know what? I like it. I love that he ties his hair up. This is fantastic and very necessary. I know that it's definitely, you know, personal choice and it depends on your hair, but I love this. Now, this cleanser is also very interesting. It does have tea tree. It looks like it's a bubble cleanser. He mentioned that he does have dry skin, but this actually looks like it would be an excellent oily skin cleanser. This does have water, myristic acid. We do have methylpropan dial, we have potassium hydroxide, cocoa glucoside, lauric acid, basically all of the things, and then we get to tea tree extract. Now, tea tree is antimicrobial and antibacterial. It's not the same as antibiotics, but people have tested it and looked at how it can help with this antimicrobial, antibacterial activity. And it's known to be, you know, not a treatment for acne, but it's known to be helpful for acne, especially when combined with other ingredients that are treatments for acne, like salicylic acid. And guess what's in this product? Salicylic acid. Now, salicylic acid is oil soluble. It's usually great for oily prone skin because of this. And what it actually does being oil soluble is that it helps to break up all of that stuff that kind of holds our skin cells together and helps it exfoliate off. And that is excellent, but not always for dry skin. For dry skin, that can actually be somewhat irritating and usually a mild AHA acid or, you know, even a gentle physical exfoliant would be better for more dry skin types. This does have Centella Asiatica, a little bit more tea tree, Panthenol, which is our vitamin B5, a little bit of beta glucan, which could help with a little bit of moisture. But overall, this actually looks like a product that would be better suited to more oily prone skin types. So it's interesting that he's using it. I wonder 
wonder if I should try it, if it's cruelty free. If he likes it, I'm glad it works. Oh, it's called the Bring Green Tea Trouble Cleansing Foam. Bring Green Tea Tree Trouble cleansing foam. Wait, let me process this. Bring green tea tree trouble cleansing oil. At first I was like, is it bring me tea? And then I was like, is it trouble in the trees? But no. Two hours later. It is bring green tea tree trouble cleansing foam. The, the prefrontal cortex did not understand the assignment tonight, okay? Uh, I love that he's a sister. He actually has a couple pimples, or for the boys, we can call them blisters. Any ideas for the non-binary friends? We got sisters, we got blisters, we need one more. But I love to see that he embraces the fact that he has skin and that skin has acne. In that case, you know, this cleanser would actually have some ingredients that would be great for him. But again, dry skin and acne is so difficult because a lot of the acne products dry out dry skin. But I would actually recommend for dry skin and acne are things like retinoids, as long as you get through that retinization phase. You could use some really moisturizing alpha hydroxy acids for a little bit of exfoliation. There are some sulfur products that are really good and actually a dappling gel would be great. That's what I would actually love to see, but don't know if we're gonna see that in this routine. Also, he washes his face before the shower. Let's take a poll. Who here is a I wash my face in the shower and who here is a I wash my face out of the shower? Because I have had this conversation many times with both Dr. Shaw and Dr. Marwala. If you're not following them, uh, you should. But yeah, I am a wash my face at night in the shower kind of girl. Why wash your face not in the shower if you could do it while you're in the shower? Multitasking. <laughs> Oral hygiene is important. I actually love that he mentioned soft bristle toothbrushes. No one told me that soft bristles existed. Soft bristle toothbrushes changed my life. That's all. 다음에는 저는 뭘 하냐? 어, 면도를 합니다. 이거는 쉐빙 폼. 이거를 조금 이렇게 짜요. 조금 이렇게 짜서 발라줍니다. 그 다음에 여기에 펴 발라줘요. 하고 나서 제가 면도하는 방법. 아, 아래에서 위로 올려요. 똑같이 위에서 아래로. 그 다음에 여기도 가서 수건으로 이렇게 닦아주면 면도는 끝이 났죠. Most people don't realize that men's shaving is actually a form of exfoliation. A lot of people in a lot of these magazines are like, oh, men have such soft skin, but they wash their face with bacon grease. How do they do it? And not all men have super soft skin, but yes, that daily form of shaving is technically a daily form of exfoliation. And that can actually be very helpful for some people. Now you should be wearing sunscreen, which let's see if he does that. But a lot of people who have acne have problems with shaving, especially if you have more curly hair, your beard hair might curl in, which can be very painful, it can lead to ingrowns where either the hair curls up underneath the skin and can't get out, or it actually comes out and then it boink, pokes back in and grows back into the face. I mean, that's horrible. And gentle exfoliation can actually really help. And then, you know, if someone's struggling with acne and shaving, just making sure that you shave around those bumps and you don't irritate or nick that acne blemish, that can be the best thing. And for people who have like really bad acne and a lot of facial hair, making sure that you actually wash that beard hair is really important. Making sure that those oils don't always stay gooped up in there. Topical medications, retinoids, benzoyl peroxide washes can help. But yeah, if you didn't realize, shaving is a form of exfoliation and ladies and or non-binary friends if you want to shave I do uh, actually have my own little shaving routine unlike Jay who does it every day I only do mine about once a month because that's when my face gets hairy I do use the little dermaplaner from Versed Verse is it Versed or Versed I don't know but Versed it sounds like Merced so I guess we can just go with that let's go with Versed <laughs> Mm. 
네, 딱 이렇게 발라주면 씻을 때 루틴은 끝이 납니다. 아 이번에 또 가장 스페셜한 게 있습니다. He says he doesn't use a lot of skincare. He says he uses one product and it's not sunscreen. So at this point I'm getting concerned, but we're only halfway through the video, so maybe there's a lot more. I like that he likes the scent. This is a Mont Blanc, Mount Blanc, Mount Blanc. We're gonna call it Mount Blanc, like a blank mountain. <laughs> this is the men's legend after shave bomb. Love a legend. Um, What's in this? I think that Mont Blanc, Mount Blanc is some fancy, fancy designer. I recognize it from my modeling days. But the question is, is this just another fashion house that slapped their name on a cheaply made product or is this actually good? Because if you didn't know that fashion houses just slap their names on cheaply made products, <coughs> Chanel, <coughs> Dior, <coughs> mm. well, and your acne big sister here to not sugarcoat it. I can't find the ingredients for this and all that comes up is a cologne. So if anyone knows the ingredients, uh, let me know and we can dive in. At least you know his nose is clean. I would ask an ENT about this. You know, our boogers are in there to literally catch dust and dirt and particles. Um, you know, but mmm, mmm, mucus. Pack을 합니다. Pack을 이렇게 해서 사실 이거 냉장고에다가 넣었는데 핀 다음에 모양을 딱 이렇게 맞춘 다음에 원래 이 상태로 붙이고 이걸 떼어야 되는데 저는 그 기술이 안 되더라고요. 그래서 먼저 그냥 뗍니다. 좀 벌리고 해야 밴드? 네, 이 상태로 좀 서툰데 하긴 해요. 네, 가끔. 음, 이게 어떻게 된 거냐? 어? 아, 예. 끌어와서 이렇게 팩을 해주고 그리고 나머지 무게 발라주고 제가 애정하는 He's doing everything right. He puts it in the fridge, he puts it on the face, he wipes the excess. You know, a lot of people don't realize that sheet masks are just serums in a mask delivery system. I don't consider them a traditional face mask, but yeah, they're really nice. This one says it is the solution face mask. I'm like, okay, what problem are you solving for? The price is right for $2, but what are the ingredients? We do have water, propendial, denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol can help other ingredients penetrate deeper into the skin. It helps preserve a product or helps products dry onto the skin. But for someone with dry skin, I don't like to see a product with denatured alcohol this high up in the ingredients list because ingredients lists are labeled by concentration up until about the 2% mark. We do have glycerin, which is nice, and that won't evaporate the same. Ceramide MP is fantastic. We love to see it. Grapefruit, meh. Sodium hyaluronate, again, sodium hyaluronate is great if you have other moisturizers in your routine. It's hyaluronic acid, so it's in like everything and our bodies naturally make it. But if you use sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid without other things, it's gonna, you know, hold on to water. And if that water isn't coming from the formula or elsewhere in the environment, it could be stolen, quote unquote, from the deeper layers of your skin. So I don't know if I would recommend this for someone who has really dry skin. Allen Toen is nice to see. Castor oil, you know, there's nothing in here that would help with acne either. There's nothing in here that I hate for acne. There's some fragrance and some grapefruit, but yeah, it's not bad for two doll hairs. I just feel more like a, a feel good mask. Maybe if anything, someone who has a little bit of wrinkles or anti-aging, there are much better sheet masks. And um, if you have acne, oh my God, this one from Zip sticker Mwah. perfection it comes in two sheets so it doesn't slip off it is phenomenal has some of the best acne ingredients and it actually has these little graphene grippies to penetrate into the skin and to actually hold on to the skin this face mask is phenomenal this one over this one 10 times CD player를 닫습니다 이거 이겁니다 네 사실 지금은 서 있는데 원래 누워 있잖아요 누워 있으면서 이걸 들어요 어젯밤에 들었던 CD까지 들어 있습니다. Who here remembers CD players and Walkmans? Walkman, Walkmans, Walkman. Does anybody remember those little blue Walkman that said like Angel from Target and then like you dropped it and the CD would fly out and then you beg your mom for a new one but it was like $30 and that was like back in like the early 2000s and that was a lot of money. Nostalgia. 떼서 버려주고 이렇게 
흡수 시켜줘요. 이렇게 되면 저의 하루의 샤워 루틴이 맞춰지게 됩니다. Oh my god, I am a sleep deprived, under caffeinated derp alert. I'm like, where's the sunscreen? We need the sunscreen. This is a night routine. Duh. Okay, well, actually, there are some things that I don't like about this night routine, but at least maybe, hopefully, he's using sunscreen in the day. He says he doesn't use skincare, which is a little concerning, but you know what? Maybe he will redeem himself for the day. This routine is halfway decent. It's relatively minimal if you just look at the skincare products, but I don't feel like this is suited for his dry skin nor for the blemishes that he mentions. And if he doesn't want to get rid of the acne or the blemishes, he doesn't have to. But if he did, there's not much in here other than the cleanser that might help, and that cleanser might be making the dryness worse. We could maybe make a little K beauty routine for him should I try to do in Korean? I do not speak Korean, though I would love to. But I would recommend a gentle AHA sort of cleanser if he really has dry flakes, maybe even something mildly exfoliating for night. If he's super, super dry, honestly, a good essence might do him well. Those are loved in K-beauty, or he could continue using that face mask. But I would totally 360 this with an acne treatment. I would really love to see even the acne-free adapalene because it's, you know, a synthetic retinoid, so it's better for dry, more sensitive skin types. And then get a moisturizer in here. Oh my God, get a lipid barrier cream or better yet, get something for acne. The May Love has like a glycolic acid night moisturizer. It is moisturizing. It is nice. It is mildly exfoliating. And because glycolic acid is an AHA, it can actually bind to a little bit of moisture. Actually, lactic acid would be great for him. You know what? If his skin is that dry, get yourself like a really nice balm and seal it in. The Ceramedics is great. You could use Solimo, like straight up Vaseline if he really wanted to, if he's that dry. I would definitely like to see even the Pacifica, that um, Quinoa Wake Up Beautiful Sleep Mask. Oh, those would be amazing. The Dear Claire's Rich Moist Soothe Cream would soothe JB's skin cells. And I think he would love this. I would just say, let's get some hydrators and let's get some more acne products in there. And if he's not using a sunscreen during the day, let's Let's do that. But what you should do is make sure that the like button is blue or did it change color in which case make it gray or I don't know is it the freaking holidays now? Is it Thanksgiving? Is it Christmas? Is it red now? Pfft. I don't know. Change the like button's color. Make sure that you stay hydrated both orally and topically, as well as reapplying your SPF every damn day. Always remember to be beautiful both inside and out, and I cannot wait to see you beautiful butterflies. And um, you know, we do some vlog videos on Patreon. If you want a little bit more of the butterfly madness and you do want to support the channel and get our editors more coffee and to the cats more snacks and um, help fund international skincare giveaways to those who can't afford skincare, the Patreon and even the YouTube web memberships are open. So anyways, secret messages at the end of the video. Bye bye from your butterfly big sister. It's time for me to go to sleep, but I have a lot of energy. I love you guys. And I cannot wait to see you in Patreon or in this next video. Love you guys. Bye.